start recording for the 20th freaking time we're gonna try this again friends if you're watching this video that means that i made it through recording without my computer freezing because i make it about two minutes into the video and then i'll lose audio that will freeze and then it'll come back and you know it's been very frustrating but i will i will succeed friends so close come on Ugh. Ugh. man computer difficulty in the studio tonight programs freezing up windows popping open i'm gonna lose my mind friends i'm gonna lose my mind welcome to the show though hope everybody is enjoying this week hope everybody had a fun fourth of july this window continually freezes and i gotta tell you friends i you know i had some fun it's been going good i've been out of the studio you know been taking a little intermission kicking back with some family kicking back with some friends been doing a lot of just kind of adventuring and experiencing life outside of the technology world a little bit took a little step back from that which is good to do you know uh went on an awesome adventure with my buddy justin uh, some of you may know that, some of you may not, but, you know, we took a trip across the state to pick up a motorcycle. I'm back in the saddle, by the way. Uh, but we, we took a trip across the state, picked up a bike, and on the way back, you know, the, even on the way there was a good trip. You know, it was a straight shot, though. We were kind of on a mission. But after, you know, uh, the object objective uh, was, you know, secured, I guess that's a good word for it, you know, we took a scenic route back uh, on 6N in Pennsylvania, which is a great road, and I didn't realize it actually runs across the whole state. Um, but 6N runs like parallel up close to the New York line. And man, you really see the whole state in all its glory and beauty when you travel on 6N in Pennsylvania. And there's some really great sites we stopped at. Uh, you know, we stopped at the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon, which was super badass. Um, did not expect it to be as badass as it was to be honest with you because getting there uh you know we were kind of going through amish country a little bit there were some hills and stuff and some farmlands and i was like there ain't no freaking grand canyon around here it says grand canyon a mile and a half up the road and i'm like yeah right well guess what a mile and up half the road you're looking out 150 miles over treetops man it was wild it was freaking awesome come on are you really gonna freeze on me again do not freeze i don't know if what part of that you got but it just froze up for a split second still recording but anyways as i was saying uh you know we're going along like we got up there and it's like holy crap you can see for 150 freaking miles over treetops it's just absolutely gorgeous beautiful so we left there came back through hit the kinzu walkout bridge had the whole place to ourselves it was freaking awesome uh you know last time i was there it was super packed there was tourists everything um you know we got there right as the sun was going down we pulled in and we were the only people there and it was freaking awesome we could walk way out onto the kinzu walkout uh we checked it out and then uh you know the trip back after that home uh we traveled right through this massive thunderstorm which was totally awesome because uh you know i love thunderstorms justin's into thunderstorms and uh it was wild man there was this freaking lightning bolt that come down it was like probably you know 100 yards off the road maybe it wasn't far it was close and it come down and it touched down like i we saw it and it we saw like particles in the air just like freaking light up and just you know explode and whatever and vaporize and but there was no sound it was weird it was like we saw a lightning bolt but you'd think there'd be a big boom we didn't hear nothing it was quiet that's what was strange you know a lot of strange things actually uh i've been noticing with nature i don't know if anybody else has noticed anything strange with nature lately but uh it's a couple things got me scratching my head friends um you know the first thing that i've noticed is uh you know the weather has just been crazy you know what i mean the weather's always been kind of crazy and every year it's different a little bit you know you get your droughts and you get your cold winters and hard winters and things like that but the weather's been you know significantly kind of different in my opinion uh you know the sun seems to be dialed up somebody somewhere is pushing buttons turning the dial up on the sun i think um it just feels different 
than it has in past years. Maybe it's just me. That and like the animals, man. You know, deer to deer. The deer have been acting strange. I think. Um, you know, and there's a lot to do with that. You know, what I mean, part of me believes that like. Uh, you know, and I say strange because they seem to be like getting really friendly, like not scared of people and not just my backyard, you know, but my parents, um, you know, they're coming around, they're staying around really close and getting really friendly, which isn't a bad thing, you know, but it's not something I'm used to, uh, for the area we live in. And I've just kind of noticed that. And part of me does believe that like, um, you know, souls of our ancestors kind of visit us through like they're like protectors through animals. And that may sound crazy to some of you, you know, but I do partially believe that, you know. Um, so I, I just kind of noticing some strange things with that. And then something else, too, was the cicadas. Here in PA, we have cicadas. And I think it's every seven years they come out. Well, we don't have them right here in Pennsylvania, but on our trip, we saw a bunch. And they were like, you know, they were like freaking, like a, they looked alive, but they weren't. They were just kind of around you know and then to come find out this morning i saw this video where cicadas there's like this fungus that's taking over cicadas brain and it's eating their organs from the inside out and these there's like videos of these hollow cicadas walking around and the literally this fungus is making them move their body and like it makes their body do like a female like thing and when the male comes in the fungus like attacks them and it's wild man it's it's super like fictional crap going on man like and I saw that this morning. I was like, holy shit. I wonder if that's got something to do with it. Um, but there's that. And then on our trip, uh, you know, we were coming back through Central PA. And we saw this cemetery that kind of went off into the woods. Just like a really narrow driveway. And, you know, it's, it was a really wooden sign like this big. Literally, it said cemetery with a little arrow. So we're like, let's check it out. Right? So, and it was cool. And we got up there, though. And... We stopped at this one area that had just two headstones, and they were, like, old. Like, they had the date 1870-something on them, and there, was, there were two deaths within, like, three months of each other. But there was a tree at, like, the foot of them, and it was a massive, I think it was a maple tree or something. But there was these little caterpillars on them, man, and they were, like, this long. And I was like, holy shit, look at that. Where I'm looking at, and there was thousands of them on this tree, and they weren't dead, but they weren't moving at all. Like I examined them, like I got really close. I'm looking. I was like, "Are they moving just really slow?" Or they no. It was like they're frozen in time, man. There's some that were like kind of sideways, like they're just like frozen in time, just like boom, like they were trying to escape something. Um, you know. I don't know, man. It was just really weird. I, that's what I thought of when I saw it. I was like, holy crap, it's like they're frozen in time. What in the heck is going on with nature? You know, what is going on with nature lately? And then, you know, you got this, the game commission here in Pennsylvania telling everybody that to stop feeding your birds bird seed because there's some disease going around and these blue jays, uh, you know, supposedly have like this disease that's like their eyeballs are rotting out and they're still alive or something. It's really kind of creepy and weird. Um, and I, honestly, dude, here comes conspiracy Kenny. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with bird seed. I think that's bullshit or bull crap. I'm trying to swear too much, but I'd like to swear sometimes. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, you know, I think that, you know, there's more going on. They're not telling us, you know, if you want to look into the birds and, and, and all these weird things happening, let's look at chemtrails. Let's look at 5g. Uh, you know, let's talk about the pesticides that get sprayed on everything. You know, this idea that somebody's, uh, you know, sabotaging our bird seed, I think is just ludicrous, uh, personally. You know, it's not really a secret that 5G's, you know, messing with brainwaves of birds and navigations and stuff. Like, uh, you know, there's more going on, I think, behind the scenes than we're being told. And that's just my thoughts on that. Just some observations in my reality that uh, I wanted to point out tonight. But... Getting back to getting out of that, like, kind of gray cloudish uh, conversation part, um, I've been really just kind of enjoying uh, the summer. You know, I've been spending time with the pup. I did that adventure video. I was had a lot of fun doing that, and it turned out uh, exceptionally well, in my opinion. Um, it really kind of brought to life uh, what I wanted to do. Music is hard to come by, so I, I'll capture the video footage, and then I'll try to find music to match it with to kind of 
uh, articulate what I'm tr feeling or uh, want to portray, per se. And I think I found it in that video, and it worked out really well. Um, but after that, you know, just kind of uh, took a step back from technology a little bit and uh, the social media world and just kind of been hanging out with friends, hanging out with family, uh, doing a lot of thinking. And, um, you know, as far as the podcast goes, um, I haven't been pursuing guests too much. Uh, I would like to. I had a couple lined up that kind of fell through before the holiday and uh, just haven't really reached out. I should. I should probably will but um you know i haven't been in like a rush you know and i don't think anybody's really in a rush to get episodes out or whatever but um and it's just for fun man you know i was thinking about that today like um you know i i, I go through these phases in my life and i know people talk about it and people um you know see it that where i'll do something different do something different you know i tried to start my own business a while ago you know i get into podcasting i want to do a podcasting show i want to do this i want to do that and that's what it's about dude you know if you ever feel like you know this is my opinion about it if you ever feel like you know you mix it up all the time and stuff and like that's a bad thing it's not because here's the thing life and this is the conclusion i can come to, came to today and i was gonna make a facebook status but i was like yeah i'm not going to but now i'm gonna say something about it um you know life is about experience and growth and if you aren't constantly trying to learn something new trying to experience something different um you know what are you even doing you know what i mean like what are you even doing bro like, yeah, man, I may do something for a little bit and it may not stick. And then some things may stick and then I may get out of it. Like painting, dude. I love painting, but it's more of like, I want to say it's, it is more of a winter hobby uh, because there's less to do in the winter, depending on who you ask. But, um, you know, it's a winter hobby for me. So, you know, I'm involved in a lot of different areas and each of those areas help me grow in specific ways and learn more and grow more you know and i think that's what life's about dude so you know i dude i'm gonna keep the podcast going i'd love to you know and it it'll probably get ramped back up when uh you know the weather starts turning kind of crappy it gets a little colder we're not outside as much and i think that's understandable i think a lot of people can understand that i'm not sure who the guest for episode 39 is going to be yet I'm excited about it. 39 is a good number, in my opinion, when you do some numerology. So maybe I'll get uh, look for like a numerologist and uh, kind of talk about that a little bit because that would be super sweet. Uh, it's a good idea. Um, but other than that, you know, not much. Hope everybody is having fun and enjoying their summer. Find a hobby, man. Find something fun to do. If you're not doing much this summer because it's too stinking hot, I un totally understand. I totally get that. Um, you know, but... Uh, you know, find something new to do, you know, um, and, and jump into it. Just try it. You know, if you've been thinking about trying something, go for it, dude. Um, oh, one thing else I wanted to talk about was uh, uh, the Colony book series um, that I had. Uh, I had a guy on a show, and uh, actually, I'm going to grab the book really quick so I could show you uh, the uh, covers. Of it. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Give me one sec. Okay, so back here in the studio. And so the Colony Book series by Walter Stephen Geating. Um, you know, I finished this book, and it was freaking awesome, dude. Uh, I got it in the mail. He signed it for me. It was great. I loved it. And I, it really sucked me in. This book sucked me in. Just an all-around great adventure story. Uh... You know, I was really amazed. So I loved it so much. I got the second book and the third book. I am on chapter, I think, three or four of the second book, um, Narrations of Nui. And it's great, man. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to go over to uh, Amazon and leave a review for him when I finish the, all three of them. And I highly encourage you to check that book out, man. They are super cheap, too. Like, I picked up both of those books on Amazon uh, for, I think, for, like, a total of 13 bucks. Um, which, he, in my opinion, Walter should, he should charge more. But maybe he doesn't want, it's not, that's not what it's about for everybody. You know, it's not about the money. You know, it's about just doing what you love. And, uh, you know, he wrote some books that he would love for people to read. And I highly encourage you to check them out, uh, you know. So maybe swing over to Amazon, check them out. Order them up. You won't be disappointed. I promise you. 
and that's pretty much all I got for tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, I'm not sure what I got planned yet for the rest of the week. Depends on the weather. We've got some good thunderstorms rolling through here, uh, and I'd like to kind of do some thunderstorm photography. Uh, it could be kind of difficult, but I would kind of like to do that. And uh, if I can get the chance and the opportunity, I just may do that. You can check out the pictures. Well, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you would like to. Uh, the links are in the description of the video here on the YouTube channel. And, um, you know, I post occasionally. Um, you know, I haven't been as much, like I said. But if you'd like to, I like to do a lot more photography stuff on the Instagram. And my Facebook is more of kind of spiritual based i guess you know i'll put pictures up there but uh i also like to share like spiritual memes and kind of lift people up you know people seem in my opinion in in, in my reality you know people scroll facebook more than instagram and maybe that's not true you know maybe that's just i think that because that's what i do but uh you know i, I want to try to build people up and keep people um you know uh focused on 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 learning and growing you know what I mean? I think that's my mission here. And so that's kind of what my Facebook page is about. And, of course, you know, the YouTube channel here um, is just having fun, man. And uh, integrating, uh, being able to, uh, you know, get comfortable speaking, public speaking in a way. Hi, Brutus. He, Brutus, is in the studio with me tonight. I'll give you a quick peek before we end the video. Come on, buddy. Oh, there he is. So with all that, though, being said, I bid you a very good night, and so does Brutus. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Swordfire X5. Oh, one last thing. If you would like one of these shirts, friends, they are comfortable. They, they really are. You know, I got a Bigfoot one, too. It's in the wash right now. I wore it on my trip across the state. Really freaking awesome shirt. I love the Bigfoot one. But if, you know, you want a, a, a shirt, and you want to support the show, you know, uh, I would be forever grateful and humbled. Um, and, uh, you know, you can find them in the link, the description of this video at the Swordfire X5 merch store. There's some cool things over there. I'm working on another design, yet, yet another design. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be, uh, you know, I, I just stay tuned for it. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope, have a good week, everybody. Swordfire X5.